in this video we are going to talk about contact forces so here's the question for you two blocks with masses m1 is equal to 3.2 kgs and m2 is equal to 4.1 kgs are touching each other on a frictionless table if the force f is equal to 6.8 newtons but a what is the acceleration of two blocks but b with what force does M1 pushes against M2? But C, repeat A and B if F in the reverse direction and pushes on M2 rather than M1. Okay, so whenever we are talking about contact forces, these two blocks, they are going to be moving with the same acceleration. Okay, because they are, they are going to be moving at the same time. So for us to find the acceleration, we are going to get the summation of all the forces in x direction. What force makes the whole system to go in this direction? We don't have any other force rather than the applied force. So here is our applied force. So we have the applied force. Then this part here, according to Newton's second law, we need to replace it with mass times acceleration. But in this case, we have got uh, we have two masses. We have m1 and m2. So we are going to say that it's going to be m1 plus m2 then we put them in brackets we say times the acceleration is going to be equal to the force okay so we can divide both sides by the mass 1 plus m2 mass 1 plus m2 so acceleration is going to be equal to the force divided by m1 plus m2 okay so our acceleration is going to be if we plug in the values we're going to get um, the force is 6.8 the mass m1 is 3.2 plus m2 is 4.1 so we are going to get our acceleration as um, 6.8 8 divided by open brackets 3.2 plus 4.1 so I'm getting 0 0.93 I'm getting 0 0.9315 I can just say 2 meters per second squared so that is my acceleration so this is the acceleration for both block 1 and block 2 now part B is saying uh, with what force does M1 pushes against M2? Okay, so what we need to understand is that eh, according to Newton's third law, the force that M1 exerted to M2 is going to be the same as the force that M2 is going to be exerting M1 but in opposite direction. Okay, for every action there is equal but in opposite direction. That is Newton's third laws of motion. So the force that M1 is going to be exerting on M2 is going to be the same as the force that M2 is going to be exerting on M1, but in opposite direction. So the force that we are going to find uh, the M1 is going to be exerting on M2 is going to be the same as the force that M2 is going to be exerting on M1. Okay. So here is the simple simple procedure which we have to take. So we have acceleration is equal to we have found that acceleration is um 0 0.932 meters per second squared. Now we want to find the force that M1 pushes against M2. Okay? So what we have to understand is that we can we can get m1 here this is our m1 so this m1 we have the applied force which is 6.8 we have our, our acceleration as um, 0 0.932 meters per second squared then there is another force that m1 exiting on m2 which is going to be the same as the m1 exiting on m2 so i can say that there is another force which is going to be there the contact force okay so we can say that the summation of all the forces in x direction what forces 
do we have on M1? We have got uh, the applied force, which is uh, acting toward the positive x axis. Then the contact force is going to be minus because it is going against the applied force. So according to Newton's second law, we know that this part here is going to be replaced by mass times acceleration. So now here we have only one mass. So it's going to be m1 times a is going to be equal to the force minus uh, this. So our goal is to find the, the contact force. I can shift this to the other side or I can shift this to the other side. Then I'm going to have... I can just shift this to the other side, it's going to be positive Fc is going to be equal to the force. Then I shift this to the other side, it's going to be minus mass 1 times acceleration. So the contact force which we're going to have, we have 6.8 minus, the mass here is uh, 3.2 times 0 0.932. So the contact force which we're going to have there is going to be 6.8 minus... 6.8 minus, open brackets, we have 3.2 times 0 0.932. Okay, so what I'm getting there is, um, I'm getting 3.817, which is the same as 3.82. 3.82 newtons. So this is the force that M1 is going to be exiting on M2. Now, but C is saying, repeat A and B, if F in the reverse direction and pushes on M2 rather than on M1. Meaning that they're asking about him, they're saying that uh, this now is here, is now pushing this. Meaning that um, if we reverse this, the force, we are going to have the same force, but it's going to be negative. So meaning the force now is going to be negative 3.8. 82 newtons then the acceleration is going to be the same but it's going to be negative as well so in short what we're trying to say here is uh, since we are going in opposite direction everything is going to change so it's going to be negative so we're going to have the acceleration is going to be negative 0 0.932 meters per second squared then the force is going to be negative 3.82 newtons okay